Jack FM, and we've plucked Eric Francis out of the mix to talk about hockey. Of course, top of mind of many, many Calgarians, especially on game day. We've got three games left in regulation, and every game counts, truly. Well, truly, yeah. They've gonna, they, they're pretty much going to have to win at least two of the three. That mm -hmm. would get them into the playoffs. And I, I think everyone's familiar with the situation. Tonight's your last free spot on the bingo card. They play against Arizona. That's a must win, an easy win as well. That I don't think is going to be a concern. Okay. Obviously, you got to beat either LA or the Jets. Those are the two teams that you're fighting uh, with. And kudos to the NHL schedule maker for plotting the last two games to be against those two teams. It's just brilliant <laughs> drama. But I think a lot of people, uh, for those who are uncomfortable or unsure how it works with the, the wild card, whether they beat Winnipeg, whether they beat LA, I think it's so crucial for Flames fans. Hey, they're going to be excited if the Flames get into the playoffs yeah. no matter what. Yeah. But I think it's so much more important for them to get ahead of LA and beat out the LA Kings or at least make sure that they get in as part of a division, a top three in a division, because then they would play the Vancouver Canucks. Right, and the city would be on fire. Oh, their natural the rival, the team that they, everyone in this city hates the most, and it's the team that have the best chance in the entire West to beat in the playoff series. Mm -hmm. If you get in through the uh, wild card uh, spot, then you're going to play the, the top team in the West, which would be the top team in hockey. It would be either Anaheim or St. Louis, and I would submit to you those are the two teams in the NHL that the Flames have the least chance of beating. They got killed by the Blues all three times they played them this year. Anaheim, they haven't won in Anaheim in like 18 years. Right. So they really do need to get ahead of L.A. So that game Thursday here at the Dome is going to be as big as they get. And that Canucks matchup would be amazing, though oh. we did have to cheer for Vancouver last night. Just on a technicality yeah. or hope for a win. Okay, so what do the Flames have to do to conquer L.A.? Well, They've, they've had their way with L.A. this year. They've done well against them, so that bodes well. It is Daryl Sutter coming, and he's the master manipulator. I think there's enough motivation on the table. The home ice advantage, that's good. Yes. All these things going forward, as long as the goalie can stay healthy. The backup right now, not so good. Okay. As long as Jonas Hiller can stay healthy, Flames have a real good chance. Okay, sounds good, and you'll be working the game tonight. Yeah. Go Flames, go. We're all cheering on the Flames.